Well, maybe one day he'll wake up. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't maybe. want to say anything because I wanted to be nice, but your dad has an aura I don't care about. No, he wants no. to have a sleepover with his boomer friends. <laughs> no, no, Ellie knows how much I hate her dad. I hate him. Not dislike. I'm... I hate him. And a, yeah. part of me, a part of me wishes that my dad was alive today just to put that son of a bitch in his place because in my dad's terms, he's a fucking dumbass. <laughs> she is not... Okay, um... I've told some of... Some childhood stories to some of my friends that uh, Bliss did not appreciate. In fact, oh, I do God. believe I do believe when I told this story about my phobia, you called him a straight-up monster. Yes, he is. And by the way, if if I were a wimp in real life and had the muscle to do it, I'd be doing this to his little head. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. That's cruel. Yeah, um, okay, okay to cool. make, okay, to summarize, I've talked before about how I am phobic of maggots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was always afraid of them. That's the reason they're a phobia. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh I don't like this, Dari. Yeah, um, okay, when I live, when I lived in Brooklyn as a kid, okay, I was like, Five-ish? Six-ish? I don't remember. I was somewhere in that ballpark. But we lived in Brooklyn, and, um, back then we did live- uh, we lived on bed which was- okay. Simply put, we did not live in a- in a great part of- in a great part of New York. Um, and also, my family's not always had the best habits, so- especially with my dad being the lazy fuck that he is. So, um- no, I'm not even joking. No, and I said is, understatement. Yeah, no. Uh, this is the part that's going to gross all of you out. One summer, he basically let all the garbage bags pile up on like a raised platform in a corner of the kitchen. Oh no. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. This is going exactly where you think it's going. Oh no. Wait for it. When he decided it was finally time to clean up, literal carpet of maggots. You could not see the floor. Oh. America, it... <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's straight oh. out of a fucking horror flick. And how old were you? I was like five-ish or somewhere in that ballpark. I don't remember. That explains everything. That's fucking emotionally scarring. Oh, no. We're not done. Yeah, we're not done. Oh boy. This, this, do you want to know what dad's solution to this was? <sighs> Have his two little kids put on their shoes and start stomping. No. No. Yes. Oh my god. Yep. And I kick? basically begged him not to because I already really didn't like those things. But he would not let me say that. He would not let me not do it he would he basically made me my my little brother he my little brother who is two years not two years three years my junior had to hold my hand the whole time while i was screaming and crying while stomping on those things yeah does the moron forget that maggots bite you see they why i don't. hate him now yeah um suffice to say my mom was not pleased when she got home that night Oh, I would not deny it. I'm surprised that the... Okay, this is probably oh. cruel of me to say. But... Do it. I'm surprised that she hadn't, like, called for a divorce. They did divorce eventually, but a lot of the reason why th she didn't prior was to do with her self-esteem. Oh. Yeah. Mom didn't grow up in a great in a great situation either, so her head was messed up for a long time. Oh, poor thing. Oh, well, but she she became a better person though. My mom became an amazing person. Yeah, like, I like your mom. Over, yeah, she overcame a lot of bullshit. Yeah, and, and honestly, mom. if I ha if I had to pick anyone that I look up to in this world, it's her. Well, yeah, yeah. because your dad's right. a fuckface. Oh. If I had 
have met your- I'm so glad I was not partaked in your wedding, Ellie, because if I had met your father... Oh... No, no, Jess, Jesse, I hate her dad. And I was oh, able no. to restrain, so no, 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 you wouldn't- I know for a fact, you are not gonna ups upset that wedding for Ellie. Keep the peace. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, but if I- But I found my- we found our own way of getting back at the old bastard, so- <laughs> Yeah, after Dad made that little speech, everybody in the wedding party took turns coming up and being like, I met Cat online! Yeah, I met no, the guy- this uh, fucker specifically jabbed at the relation- the online relationships not being real. Her relationship with Chris wasn't real. Her friendships were not real. Um, no, motherfucker. Hi, um, I'm Emily. I have known Eliora- uh, I'm sorry, Kat. I think I did call you Eliora at your wedding. I, I had to correct about half of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're like- to which I immediately apologized and said, yeah, I'm just so used to calling her that. But yes, Kat, I have known her for a few years now. She's probably like, one of the bestest friends I've ever had. I'm, I've known her online for most part of our time, but every time I see her physically, it's always a blessing. And I always look forward to seeing her again because she is like another older sister to me. And I love her very much. She's always been there for me. She's listened to me at some of my worst of times. And still continues to do so. The least I could do is be here for her on her wedding day. Online relationships are as real as they get, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, Dad! <laughs> I didn't say that, Honestly, but <laughs> okay. If I had to, if I had to say something related to that too, I would definitely say this. Mainly would be this. I've been friends with your daughter quite a long time, but I won't specifically target him, of course. Mm -hmm. And I can say without a doubt, she's amazing. I uh, would drug, not be thank any you for subscribing. more I would not be any less sad without her. She has brightened up my day for a long, long time. And if that ain't true friendship, I don't know what is. So, yeah. Don't say Suck it, boomer. Internet friends are <laughs> yeah, don't say internet friends aren't real. Because you're just pretty much putting yourself in a hole that you can't dig out. <laughs> okay, so the right, that's my big sister. That's my big sister. I'm glad to share this day with her family, including her her dad who really needs to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> in bleach. I don't know, he had that he looked like he needed a bath. In bleach! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but, that's, that's, um, oh, the thing, that, the thing, the thing that it always, like, upset me about, like, fake, no, fake friends online, real friends, it, real friends in person, the fr the friends that I had in person were ones that, let, let's see, they, they used me to steal, not to steal shit from dad, they manipulated and humiliated me in school, oh, and I got fucking molested. Wait, uh, what? Uh, whoa, 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 okay, stop. Uh, okay, that is a very specific and very sensitive topic. Are you sure you want to talk about that on a stream? I yeah, don't I didn't. care. I, I wrote about it, and I wrote about it in a public story. I don't even fucking care. Yeah, but Twitch's TOS is a bit, is a bit foggy That's about true. that. That's true. That's true. So I'll leave it, I'll leave it at that. That. Yeah. that is true. I will so, leave it at that. I, wanna, I apologize. I want to mention this. Um... I, I am sorry that I didn't make it to your wedding because there are other things going on on my end. Uh, but I will say this. If I was there, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to speak up. And given the knowledge you just gave me, Ellie, I would have just said, hey, at least I don't send my own two kids to clean up a mess full of maggots. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, I, met, I met somebody online who was in abusive relationships, so suck a big one. And shut up. Oh! Was there any glassware at this wedding? Uh, I think it was plastic. Oh wait, yeah, there was. It was those mm -hmm. decorative, beautiful decorative bowls that that had floating yeah. candles oh, yeah. in them. But no, mm. we don't want to waste those. Those are beautiful. We don't want to. No, crack but I'm, over ask his I'm asking head. because, like, if there were glass cups, then I would have done exactly what I just did at my desk. Oh, oh. my god! Oh, dear. I shattered a, I shattered a cup, and I had to go oh, and get a band aid. Are you okay? I'm fine. I am angry. 
Um, I can't yell because my mom is here visiting and I don't want to disturb her. But understandable. Yeah. Are, you are a fantastic person. Yeah. I have only known you for a short time. I am very thankful for that uh, that uh, reboot pin that you gave me at Brony Con. Uh, I do believe it was 2017. <laughs> yeah, 2017. I don't remember. I, I I remember giving I remember giving you the um, the um, pin, but I don't remember what Brony Con that was. I remember what I, I think it was 2017 because I didn't go to 2018. But you are a fantastic person, and I I am thankful that I have an opportunity to get to know you better as a person and as somebody who could possibly be a friend because I categorize, categorize you as acquaintance because... We haven't talked much, yeah. Very much so. Uh, but well, I, I hope to rectify that because... I hope to rectify that because I, I said this before yesterday in a very emotional moment that I have a problem with establishing meaningful connections because I'm afraid of, well, being abandoned by said friends because imposter syndrome sucks. But your father was in the wrong. Uh, as somebody who had a deadbeat father as well, I can uh, fully identify and understand what you uh, what you've gone through, and uh, it infuriates me that people like that exist, and that there's no way that we can just you know re-educate them or call them from the face of the planet Earth. Which calling them from the Earth is a very violent and extreme measure, which is not something that I condone because I'm very I try to be a peaceful person, but. I am sorry that you had to go through that. I'm sorry that you had to deal with somebody like that. And uh, he's completely in the wrong. And I hope that one day he just decides to snort cyanide. <laughs> what? I... Jesus. <laughs> no, I don't I... believe in extremes. Next breath. Snort cy cyanide. <laughs> hey, see, this is usually the moment I'd say something. We're not per I'm of, not perfect. Oh, but nah, I'm, I'm completely on board with that notion. Okay. I, I mean, I'm good. it's... Mm -hmm. I was just gonna ask Ellie, was your father sexist, uh, like racist? No. Towards no. your. Then he's better. At least he's a little less of a jerk than my father. Oh my god. Oh, mm. I could go on about my dad for ages. You wanna know what's actually <laughs> hilarious? What? Mm -hmm. After we moved to Long Island, my dad was the one experiencing racism because we lived in a black neighborhood. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Yeah, because okay, this is okay, this shock. is not something I blame dad for. This is actually just something that was unfortunate. Um there was in our neighborhood a crack house that oh, the police uh... the police knew about it. They didn't want to bust it because there was a little old lady living in there. Oh no. Mm. What they did instead was they would they would monitor the house, and when they saw customers going to or leaving it, they would bust them instead. Mm. The thing okay. is, there was this thing that they the that customers like that would do, where it it would be a white dude who would pick up like a black lady on the street or some shit. I don't remember. I I saw this once or twice, but it it's been years since I lived there. And, um, but what they would do is they would pick up a black lady and drive down there and they would go in and get the stuff and bring it out. Basically, they were, they were crack whores. Mm. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. But also, these cops were fucking stupid. When I was 13, um, my dad, I don't remember where we were driving. Obviously, this was, like, 25 years ago. But when I was 13, dad was dri- um, uh, I should mention he's stepdad, that's why he's white. Um, we were driving- so we were driving somewhere, and we have we happened to drive down the road that the crack house was on. There were cops that were driving up the street in the opposite direction from us. And I saw this with my own two eyes in the mirror- in the car mirrors. They stopped, they turned around, and they started following dad. Uh-oh. And apparently this had happened before when he was in the car with mom. So dad got nervous and he accidentally ran a red light. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. They used that as an excuse to pull him over. And mm. but when they got up to the car, they looked directly at me. And th there was um, 
there was just this look of what the fuck when they saw that they had that the man they had pulled over had a 13 year old girl in the se in the seat. They thought I was a crack whore. Hmm. <sighs> they, they issued him a ticket for the traffic violation, but because of the circumstances, Dad fought it and won. Okay. Now that's not something I blame him for at all. That's not his fault. Nah. And I don't care who you are. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. No. Mm. Okay, I gotta tell this story that involves um, what a recent thing to leading to a very strong bitter rage of my father as of late. Um. Because of the fact that uh, since last Christmas, I was starting to date Felix. Now, I wanted to tell my father's side, because I do this thing, where on Christmas Eve, I go to my father's side of the family for Christmas Eve, for like for Christmas, party, and whatnot. And then on Christmas Day, it's my mother's side. So, I took my daughter with my dad to their party. Everything was fine. I was telling him, like, how I've been and all that stuff because I haven't seen that side in a while. And then when, um, when I finally showed my father who my boyfriend is and what he looked like, his immediate response was this in such a deadpan tone. You've been hanging around with your aunt Fran for too long. Because my aunt is dating also a black man as well. Yeah. Wow. And everybody else was not saying that. They all were praising me, happy to see that I finally moved on from a bad relationship. What does that do? Says something like that. That's you disgusting. Can you can imagine how much that hurt my heart. My own not... father said something like that. And I normally am not a hateful person. So you can imagine how much that actually broke my heart. Yeah. And I imagine it pissed you off real good, too. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. Especially considering he knew I was in a very bad relationship. So, but... the fact he said that... After knowing full well what I went through. Not once did he even say that I was glad to get out of a bad relationship and start over. Not he took one look, saw a, skin, saw a skin patch, and was like, oh, well. And, oh my god, I didn't say it out loud, but this is what I said in my head. Gee, I'm glad you see that I finally moved on with my life, a-hole. I was ticked. You know what I would have said? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, go ahead. I, I'm just okay. Ranting. I would have said, "Oh, thanks, Dad. Now go drink bleach." <laughs> I wouldn't say that because I don't wish Dad. <laughs> at least then, at father. least then, his insides would match the void on out on the outside. <laughs> oh, or do I have that the other way around? I can't tell. He's very hollow. <laughs> oh, trust me, he's a classic redneck. Horrible type of classic example. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Please, that. please tell me he doesn't have the Confederate flag. No, he does not. Okay. He, he was he was a drug addict. He was an alcoholic. He mm. stole my mother's hard-earned money when to, to satisfy his addictions. He oh, lied. Oh man, to he's her. picking every box. He's yep. mooching, He's isn't he? Lying. He was. Didn't they split up? Yeah. Mom and dad divorced when I was like almost sixteen. So yeah. But, so uh, yeah. um, your genetic material donor is not a great person. Nope. He was not. And that makes and the considering the fact that I was a I was one of those few kids that do not like confrontation. I don't like to hate people. It's not my thing. But when you set the right button on me, you immediately get the flag. 
on me. You immediately get the, the freaking dead flag. And that's been with <laughs> me with my father right now, because... He yeah, has, I don't blame he you. Is, he is starting to get to that point where I am no longer I'm wanting him to have any association with me or my daughter, ever. Because this is especially even worse. He would want to put so much focus on my daughter, but when she's not around, he doesn't want to. She doesn't. He doesn't want to see me. I see how it is. You care less about me and more about your grandbaby. Yeah, no, you're bad influence. <sighs> Plain and simple. We won the lottery with dad, didn't we? Joke. I will have no shame in saying whatever fucking insults pop in my head for them. <laughs> Don't be, no, go ahead, Golden, because my mom would laugh hearing you say them, because she would so approve. It's like, okay, um, bird in hell, take the confederate flag and shove it up your asshole, and, uh, go ahead and just put yourself in the pleasures of being a fucking racist douche. I can't, I can't, like, think of the insults clearly right now. Take your Make America, ha take your America, Make America Great hat, and ride, and ride your fucking Confederate flagpole all the way back down to the depths of Tartarus. You racist bitch. <laughs> definitely that. I mean, if you think, I mean, if you think about it, are these guys really worth top tier insults? That, that's why I didn't try too hard. I just said what yeah. came to mind. He is definitely... A, he's just a freaking pathetic man. That's all I uh, That's an understatement. No, yeah, like... that's what he deserves. He doesn't deserve any further insult because I don't want to give him that kind of attention. He's just a pathetic man who thinks that he's better than... Who thinks he's in the thinks, wrong. Thinks they're hotter... Think better than hot shit. Exactly. Oh, oh wait, he wants to be hot shit because that's what he is. He's fucking shit. He's a narcissist. That's what we found out. He's actually considered a narcissist type of man. Oh my god, that explains that so much. So in terms uh -huh. of the conversation, what's next on the docket? Because I'm just sad now. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to move on to... I want to get back to laughing until I vomit because at least that was enjoyable stomach sickness. Well, that's yeah. why it was, like, throwing in the insults, because I thought some of the insults would be hilarious and cathartic. Okay, here's something uh, to But, yeah, let's change, this, let's change this up. up. Here's something that'll um, cheer you up. I think you would like this. Go ahead. Golden, when, have you got uh, any new orbs? Nope. <laughs> but, hey, we can find okay. more insults in the orb venue. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the joke. Anyway, as I was trying to say, what, during, since this whole virus thing became such an issue, my daughter said some, always says this that always kills me every time with the cuteness. She would say this, I will punch that coronavirus! Nice. Oh my god! She's so I can't cute! Help, I can't help but think back to a time I may have heard this one before. Like yesterday. Yeah, I said it would yeah, I, I said it when Ellie was streaming, but I, she didn't hear me, so, but that's okay. Mm. okay. But yeah. Damn it. But yeah, I was just I, having a laugh. Alright. I just couldn't help but to smile every time oh, she said that, alive. because like, Sweetie, you are precious. You are a precious bean. I think I know who I'm going to have her cosplay as if I ever go back to doing conventions again. Loximus? Hey, Steel Rail. Yo. Hey, Steel Rail. Steel! Hey! Yo. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about dressing up my daughter as Nanako from Persona 4. Nice. Oh my god, I'd die. <laughs> this is perfect, because I, I, it's funny, because I've just been recently watching, like, a walkthrough of Ow! Persona 4 Golden as of late. Hey. And I can't help but to muddle my heart with Nanako. She's precious! My protect to pure! Because <laughs> Nanako chan is precious bee! She's fucking too cute. I. I. Like. I, Nanako is 
the best <laughs> character. Bless you. Thank you. Nanako is the best character in Persona 4. Fucking fight me. Oh no, no I totally agree with I you. Won. She is She is like the of she's like the one character that helps brighten your day because of how sweet and innocent she is. Like, I want that to be my baby. I think that's pretty is my much baby. is. Yeah, she pretty much only, is. The only difference is her age, but yeah. Uh, just or Samurai said you need to teach Nicole the Juness song. <laughs> Does Nicole yes! know the baby shot do 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 song? No. Huh? I have uh, no idea. Hey, hey, Vlad's hey, Vlad. back. Yeah, welcome back, Vlad. Vlad, you want hey, better, dude? Hey, Vlad. Much better. Vlad. You okay? Uh, he needed to let out some steam. Very much so. Feeling better. I heard Jasper yeah. was sad. Do I need to give you a hug? No. Yeah. Um. I will crawl through the internet's pathways just so I can pop out through your monitor and give you a hug. That sounds more lie. likely to be heart attack and hit you with a fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is our relationship anything but that? I annoy you. You throw things at me. It works. It just works. Healthy. <laughs> now I hit you twice for reference, and that's wrong. I'm so glad that you picked up on that. That makes me so happy. I will never, ever, ever, ever leave. And unlike Bethesda, he actually means it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it won't leave. It won't leave. It's still stuck in my head, and I can't get it out with a gun. It won't leave. It won't leave. It won't leave. It won't that sounds like a pretty good parody, though. <laughs>